This uh, second video is about um, how to edit a template that has been uh, created uh, externally and uploaded into uh, MailChimp. Uh, we're open at the uh, campaigns page uh, and I'm logged into uh, my account. Uh, the top right hand corner here you can see a button which is uh, save templates and um, this is the uh, template that I uploaded for Page and Black. So if I click this button, Edit, we open up in a page which shows on the left hand side the um, template as it will be displayed. And on the right hand side is a design uh, column where you will undertake uh, editing of the um, template. All of these individual areas can be uh, edited, but uh, I'm assuming they'll be fairly static for you, so I won't go into those. So if we look at the um, social media buttons, first of all, and click Edit. Uh, I sent you an email which uh, highlighted that I couldn't find the uh, URL for your social icons. I did find, uh, however, the Facebook. So if I just copy that into the clipboard, and in the normal way, if I just highlight the icon and go up here to the uh, Edit Insert Anchor link, as you can see, I've uh, already had uh, the link posted, but if I hadn't, this would be blank. Um, and I just uh, copy into uh, the box the, uh, the URL and then click insert and do the same for tweet which I haven't done so uh, this is what you would see so if you just remove that and insert the uh, proper URL and again for LinkedIn so uh, all one has to do at the end of that is to then click the save and close button and that's the editing function undertaken. If uh, we go to this page or this uh, area here which uh, is a combination of images and uh, text. Uh, I have messed around here so it's um, partly completed but I'll just go through the process for you. Along the top is the same uh, icon buttons uh, where you can uh, make a bold, uh, uh, italic, anchor, link. This is a file manager which I'll come on to in a minute and this is obviously an insert numbered list and a um, buttoned list. This is the ability to paste in as plain text, um, to paste in as a rich text editor. This icon is a source, so if I click it, here is the HTML that uh, is listed. Go back to it. Uh, here is a styles button where you can click to identify the particular style. Uh, we can extend these uh, icon buttons by clicking this right hand uh, icon which will show extra tools and here you can see we can identify particular fonts. Oops, sorry, I'll just click it in. Uh, size. Uh, you can um, color the text, you can color the background, you can underline, and then you can align left, center, right, and justify. And uh, if you recall, you asked me about justifying. Uh, I act did actually do this one, but just to go over the process, if it was uh, as a default, which is left justify, it would look like this. And to justify, we just click the button, and as you can see, it's been justified. 
Unfortunately, with the layout, it's uh, thrown this text below. So um, that's how one would uh, edit the uh, text, and, and obviously you do the same thing. If you want to replace the text, you then uh, type into this section here. So if we go to the image on the uh, left-hand side, and we go to the uh, file manager, um, you can do a number of things here. Um, you can edit uh, the individual image, uh, and there's various uh, tools along here, and you can crop and resize, etc. I'll just close that down. Um, you can go up into the uh, you, uh, these buttons here, which you can either upload a new image. Uh, you can change the image by something that's already in uh, your images uh, folder. I just uh, highlight that one. Here's the images that were uploaded. In, uh, you can also uh, make this a clickable uh, image. And here you can put in the link. Uh, you can change the uh, width uh, here and keep it in proportion or not. And uh, of course, you can go back how it originally was. And basically, uh, you do the same for each of these individual boxes. Um, as I'm going through this, I don't like the look of the way the developer has developed this section here. That's a clearly different uh, profile to here. I need to obviously look at this in more detail, but I'm really just showing you how things can be done. Uh, you know how to change an image. There's uh, some things that we need to do. Is um, You have a link here. I don't know what that link is, but to create it, you, as normal, highlight, uh, put in the uh, link. Uh, I don't know whether that is what you want or if I save that, um, you can see there's a link here now. Um, and you would do the same with this one here. And you'd edit this in a similar way. And uh, you can add another section by highlighting. There it is. There. So um, if we. Uh, click plus, you can add another section of the same, or you can delete it. But generally speaking, that is how one would uh, edit. And then at the end of the uh, process, once you've completed everything, you then click save and escape, and it goes back. So you've updated, and then you can use that new image, or sorry, that new template in your next campaign. Uh, so that's, uh, generally speaking, the way one would look to edit.